Boys and girls, man and woman. I hope you have time to sit down because we are going to go through everything that NetEase has for this update. Now this is a lot and I don't think I've seen any update that is this big. So sit down and relax and let's just... Let's just hear me out. Welcome to the project Stellar Night Flight Azure. We embark on a new chapter to supercarrier detective design. Assist in Concorde's work and welcome the arrival of the Scion C carrier and four other supercarriers. So we're getting five supercarriers. Stellar Night Flight event encounters are now open. Complete the missions every week and obtain the rewards. Unlock the manual to obtain the standard implant opt supply, special battleship opt box and other great rewards. Also, the Stellar Night Flight shop is now open, offering many items such as secret transport container, ship opt box, implant materials and skill points and more. Now we're gonna talk about the new content and it's not too bad. The very first directive designed by Capsuleers and Concorde Aerospace, the Scion Sea has completed its maiden voyage. Scion C has obtained special permission from Concorde to operate in high sec areas. And after incorporating the design proposal from the Capsuleers, Scion C will feature the following characteristic. Multi-weapon combat system, capable of deploying both fighters and capital weapons in combat at the same time. However, the capital weapon puts a burden on the carrier's combat system, causing a slight decrease in its fire rate. Modified warp drive, and that's only improvements to its warp speed. I guess that's why it's in high sec. Shield defenses. Employing the shield defense system, improving the effect of its shield resistance and shield repair modules. Now how do you obtain this ship? They say that capsulers may use the ship blueprints and data materials to reverse engineer the blueprint for Scion C. They may then build the carrier. Participate in the limited time event Stare Night Flight Azor and you will have a chance to obtain Scion C carrier and its blueprint directly. Now there is also these four navy faction battleships. As the battleships upgrade technology matures, the four empires are starting to extend its advanced technology to smaller tonnage ships. As the backbone of the empire's military, striker battleships will be the first to receive technological upgrades. These navy issue battleships are upgraded versions of the predecessor with a specific focus on improving the fire control system. The modification provides significantly improved weapon power and moderately enhanced sensor strength and locking speed. Meanwhile, it also retains a formidable siege mode of the strikers and takes the concepts of long range heavy firepower to the extreme. As the new variant battleship was introduced into the new Eden faction, its high degree of technological similarities allowed Navy issue to be compatible with the nano core of its base battleships. Oh, so the Navy ships can actually use the Striker nanocores. This is good. Very nice. V very good, Netties. What are you doing? You're not gonna make any money? What? However, overloading the fire control system could result in a decrease in the overloading system efficiency, leading to increased cooldown times for the primary weapons. Okay, so pretty much like... Uh, any of the implants that we have, you have to maintain the power. Like you activate something and you shoot more or do more damage and then you have to maybe cool it down a bit. I don't like that mechanic but interesting. Four new battleships will be released, Raven Navy Issue, APOC Navy Issue, Megatron Navy Issue and Tempest Fleet Issue. And how to obtain those? Reverse Engineer with Reverse Engineer materials obtained from the Classified 3 to obtain the blueprint. So I think it's the wave graph they're talking about. Use the blueprint for industrial manufacture with a striker as the material. Oh, interesting. That's a good idea. That's actually a good idea. Faction cruisers. As a symbol that combines firepower and mobility in the universe, faction cruisers become one of the first non-flagship battleships to undergo upgrade and transformation in different factions. You got the Chameleon, upgraded from the Gila. This cruiser is a heavy cruiser equipped with the latest force speed recon technology. With its cloaking device, 
this ship can covertly infiltrate enemy territories and provide renaissance and guidance for allied fleets through its sinusarial field generator. Additionally, the cruiser fire control system have been considerably enhanced, creating an extensive weapon range. And it also have a sniper mode. Very interesting. You also have the Fiend. It's upgraded from the Phantasm. It's a heavy interdictor cruiser equipped with an advanced interdiction technology capable of generating a warp disruption field. On top of this, the cruiser's upgrade damage control system allow it to allocate resources effectively for a significant improvement in its shield resistance, even at the cost of reducing its firepower. These improvements make these formidable monstrosities an excellent choice for capturing fast moving ships and surviving perilous situations unscratched. Special mode, defense mode. We got the Adrestia. The Adrestia is a heavy firepower cruiser upgraded from the Vigilant with the incredible flying speed of a heavy assault ship thanks to its lightweight alloy parts and prototype ion thrusters. It retains the Electronical Warfare bonus for the Vigilant Stasis Webifier while adding a bonus to its Warp Disruptor. Furthermore, its upgraded damage control system enables it to divert firepower to enhance its rate of fire significantly. Special Mode, Repairing Mode. I like the Drestia, man. This can be a cool ship. And we got the Sailors, upgraded from the Cinnabar. The high mobility heavy firepower cruiser is a formidable cruiser that boats extensive electronic warfare in covered ops capabilities. It maintains the signature high speed firepower of Angel cruisers while incorporating and enhancing fire control system that greatly improves its firepower delivery efficiency. Special mode, batter mode. Dude that sounds awesome. Now how do you obtain these ships? You reverse engineer with reverse engineer materials obtained from classified 3, I would assume wave graphs, to obtain the blueprint. Use the blueprint for industrial manufacture with the respective prototype faction cruiser as the material. Oh I like this, I like that they actually implement this. This makes us need to build a striker first to then convert that into something else. Uh, yeah that's good. Now we're getting to the fun parts here boys. Mineable gas. Due to the limited capability of mobile devices, the gas effect at medium graphics quality or below will be disabled to improve the game's frame rate. So it starts off bad. Concord has found a new material, fullerite, from the gas clouds orbiting asteroid belts in its latest research project. Fullerite is the solid state manifestation of fullerene molecules that can be found naturally occurring within interstellar gas clouds. Fullerene based technology has the application in electronics, propulsion and engineering as well as the construction of ultra hard metal alloys and heat resistance weapon system. They also talk about Fullerite C50 and C60. Now the Fullerite C50 is available in asteroid belts at 0.4 to minus 1.0 and it can be mined with mining lasers, strip miners or mining drones. Now the Fullerite C60 can be found in the same locations. Or they just typed this wrong. But basically they show up in asteroid belts, which is really interesting. They also have added polymer. This intricate filling structure material paves the way for a more advanced starship constructions with its unparalleled strength in two mass ratio Advanced Starship protective device and maintenance equipment will require a significant amount of fullerene fiber to manufacture. And how do you obtain this? You can obtain this blueprint in the market. You also got experiment data. You can get it from experiment data from examining various ship debris, which includes classified such as detailed ship structures, command system and fire control system of different ships. The data can be used to reverse engineer blueprints and advanced customized ships. It seems you get them from the wave graphs. We got some new skills going, polymer material manufacturing. We also got a new core, special faction cruiser trailblazer nanocore opt box added in Concord Pass shop, which includes the trailblazer nanocore compatible with the four new faction cruisers. So the new cruisers will be built from the old cruisers 
and you can use the nano cores from the old cruisers on the new cruisers and you can also get the new cruisers nano cores from the concord pass really nice man this is a really interesting update now they've also made some ship balances they increased the repairing distance and effect of the logistic frigates adjusting the roll bonus to optimal range 100 percent accurate fall off 100 percent and remote repair efficiency 50 percent they also added two single attribute resistances, bonuses 50% and 25%, respectively, to assault frigates and assault destroyers. Since different factions excel in different technologies, the type of resistance added is different as well. Increases the number of low slots from 4 to 5 and added a unique bonus to guard destroyers. Small defense module speed reduction, minus 12.5%. They also increased the drone velocity bonus for the destroyers using drones from 12.5% to 25%. They changed the optimal range plus 25% bonus for destroying using turrets. And they also offered an accuracy fall off bonus. And they added a new effect to sniper mode, the drone velocity plus 25%. So this is very big for destroyers. They also changed a couple of other things here. To enhance the characteristics of the ships and optimize the experience for new capsuleers, remove the tech level requirements for Noctis and Noctis 2. So anyone can fly the Noctis and Noctis 2. Very nice. Reduce the tech level requirements for Retriever and three other mining barges by one. Remove the energy neutralizer bonus of the Algos and its variants and increase their drone effective HP from 5 to 10%. Remove the energy Nosferatu from the Corax and its variants and increase their small missile torpedo explosion velocity from 10 to 15%. They also added a new bonus for the Blackbird Scorpion and their variants, sense of strength 5% per level. Okay. They increased the optimal range of Naga 3 from 5 to 10%. They increased the tracking speed of Talos 3 from 5 to 7.5% and they increased the drone defense of the Myrmidon and its variants from 5 to 10%. These are some major changes boys and girls. To add the flexibility to the showdown mode and minimize the case of 2 minutes weapon cooldown downtime due to the button misclick, we redesigned the effect of capital ship showdown mode. Remove the missile activation time by minus 80% from the showdown mode and reduce the base activation time of 3 capital missiles by 80%. Adjusted both the turret and missile damage bonus by 300% in the showdown mode. We increased the capital turret's damage by 210% and reduced the capital missile damage to 50%. Accordingly, to keep the firepower consistent with the pre-adjustment level. They also updated scanning. We discovered that it is possible to be unable to locate any relic sites for an extended period of time while scanning. So the reward for the persistent effort was too little. To address this, we made the following optimizations. Increase the overall spawn rate of scan locations by 100%. So they doubled the spawn rate. And reduced the chance of them spawning in the same location by 20. Added some expert skill ship blueprints in the loot crates from level 4 to level 5 data sites. Very good. Very nice. Go out scanning boys. They also made changes to mining. Reduce the maximum numbers of asteroid belts that may exist at one time by 20% and increased the ore reserve of each asteroid by 25% to reduce the downtime for capsules while mining. Also very nice. Warp features to improve the experience of capsules with autopiloting in lower security star systems and waiting at the stargate, we manage the following optimizations to the warp features. After a successful start of warping, firing weapons will no longer deal damage to enemies. After being interrupted in the warp preparation state, the capacitator occupied while locking onto the warp target will be refunded. Corporation Tech In order to improve the welfare and the cohesion of the corporations, reduce the pressure on the small and medium sized corporation in combat and enhances the battle readiness for the new Eden. The Corporation Tech System is now available by Concord. Corporations can set standings through various means and spend them to raise their assessment level and improve their different techs, activating various bonuses. 
Now corporation standings can be earned from the inscription of the galaxy, limited time events, and supplies gathering missions. This is an event they will have starting this next season of the inscription of the galaxy. Corporation standings will be added to these rewards. Standing rewards may also be added to limited time events. See the actual event page on availability. Supply gathering. The Concord has discovered a new region and want to explore it. Yet the enemies there are very powerful and thus the war there is at a stalemate. In response, the Concord has issued supply gathering missions to support the distant region exploration operation. Every week Concord will issue a list of supplies to different corporations. Concord is currently calling for mass production of ships, modules and rigs. Due to the unpredictable nature of war consumption, the list supplies changes every week. Standing rewards of different supply vary, and each corporation may only submit a maximum of 150 items a week. Corporation managers may prioritize certain items based on their own need and publish acquisition orders on them in the corporation market. Please do note that while the reward for acquisition order is set by the manager and will be given to the member offering the item, the item itself will not be delivered to the corporation but will instead be collected by Concord and will be deployed to the combat frontline. The corporation will earn a certain amount of standing as a reward. This is huge guys. Are they actually trying to use up some items that we have? Oh this is really big. After earning standings, the corporation CEO may spend standing and ISK to raise the corporation's assessment level. Every level up unlocks some techs and you can upgrade it to level 5. There are many types of corporation techs and 16 are made available in the first batch. Corporation CEO may spend standings and ISK to upgrade them and obtain their bonuses. Well how about that? I think this sounds amazing. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments.